the lovely to meet you. I would shake your hand, but I had some sort of... my elbow. All oh, right, OK. Um, so can I ask about the injury then? I fell off a skateboard. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly the reaction I deserve. So, yeah. Um, well, let, let's talk about cycling a bit. Um, the Lance Armstrong story, how close were you to that um, at the time of it happening in terms of seeing it um, from the outside, I guess? Uh, well, I was. I was in it. I lived it. I took drugs. Uh, I was friends with Lance. I was friends with his teammates. I almost went to his team. It was my life. So, yeah, I was deep. I lived it. <laughs> did, you, did you ever think it would come out, the, the, the drugs? Uh, and the there were times where we got to a point where Lance was so famous and still is became un an untouchable where I did, did think that maybe it would never come out mm -hmm. but none of us had proof anyway none of us knew really you kind of had suspicions but but yeah it's uh, it is what it is huh? it came out did you have any dealings with David Walsh at the time and what did you think of him during that period I had one interview with David Walsh and that was back in 1999 other than that we never interviewed but no I, no never I was on a different plane but yeah I know David well, the whole, quite a small press corps in cycling. And he was ostracized, I believe, at, at the time for say, speaking out and saying what he said. Um, can you kind of identify with that lone voice element that, that he, he portrays and we get from the film? Uh, yeah, well, because I was in it and I ended up taking drugs and couldn't, I gave up. I could have not taken drugs and I did take drugs because I thought no one cared. And so, yeah, it was all, it was a very confused and mixed up world we lived in at the time. And uh, David was fighting his battle, which was a, a thankless task at the time. And now, you, now you see how it's quite—it's quite, it's quite a, the morals of that alone is quite good to see that if you fight hard and long and hard, long and hard enough, good things do happen. But there was a long time where it looked like David Walsh was fighting a very losing battle. Mm -hmm. And finally, can I ask about the state of cycling at the moment? Do you think we're in a much better place now that everything has come out? Uh, yeah, I think so. I mean, uh, I—I got two little boys. I got a four-year-old and two-year-old. They're the little bastards that cause my arm to be broken. But uh, but there's like the fact that there were a few years ago I'd have never let my sons go into professional cycling. I'd have said, no, you don't, you know, we'll find something else. Now they can go into it. Um, and that's, I think, is the biggest kind of affirmation of where we are today. The fact that my sons, I'd be happy with them going to professional cycling as it is today, is, uh, is, is where we, we've got to. You can win the Tour de France clean. And I think that's the most important thing for us to think about and consider and remember. Gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You 